Hey guys, it's Simply Imaginary People, Frankie, and I got asked to do a tutorial on retexturing objects and adding stencils. So, what you're going to do is you're going to open your old version of TSR Workshop, and you're just going to import whatever you want to edit. So I'm going to start with close. So I'm just going to open, just pick a top here. <laughs> open it up. So here's the top and maybe I want to add a picture here or something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to texture and I'm going to go to multiply. I'm going to press edit. I'm going to say export and I'm just going to save it somewhere. You might want to rename it. So stencil. And then I'm going to open Photoshop and I'm going to open that image. So quick access. Not be close. Uh, stencil. Okay, you usually get this, which is kind of weird. So if you go to channels and you click on the alpha map, and with your magic wand tool you just click on the black, and then you go back to the RGB channel, go back to the layers, and you press. You've got to right click layer from background first, and you press delete, and then it actually looks normal again. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open whatever image I want to add in there. So let me just find something I can use. That'll do. And first of all, I'm going to get the image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the white, select inverse, so I've only got the cat. Copy it over. There we go. Control T to scale it. And I'm just going to scale it so it fits here on the front of the t-shirt. Slightly random, but okay. Now I want this to be a stencil or an overlay. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take away the layer of the thing and I'm going to save this as a DDS. Call it stencil two. Save, save. Okay. Now go back to here and either under overlay or under stencils down here. I usually like to do it with the overlay. It's going to go to edit, import, and you can import your image. Ah, yes. You're going to have to delete the alpha map as well. There we go. File, save as DDS. If you don't delete the alpha map, you can see that you were just getting the image of the clothes in the back. Okay, so it's going to open it. It should be empty except for our little cat. You can press done. And that is pretty much all you have to do to add a stencil. So you can add any types of stencils you like. So I could add lettering over it or whatever. Now if I want to do something a bit different, like I want to add a recolorable, recolorable words on there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to export the mask. So just export that to mask and I'm going to open it. Right now you can see I don't actually know where the top is here at the moment so all I'm going to do is I'm going to write duplicate this layer. I'm going to duplicate it onto the stencil image. There we go. Um, just move it to the back so I can see where it is. And now I'm going to type something. You can add anything else, doesn't matter. Text or a picture. Or, I know. You can also, or just. You can see that this top has three recolorable channels already. So red is one channel, yellow, and purple. So either I can add it to the purple channel or I can make it four channels, but I'm just going to, for the sake of it, just add it to the purple channel. So it'll be the same color as whatever's purple. So I'm going to get that purple color and make myself a new layer just above them all. And I'm going to maybe add a stencil of something that I can recolor. So what do I have that I can do randomly? A little weird sun. 
and I'm going to make it fit and I'm going to print on there in that purple. Then all I'm going to do is I'm going to hide this layer and I'm just going to save this as DDS. Again, make sure that you don't have a background layer. Save it as a mask. Can't do that. It's too open. Save it as mask 2. So you can also write words. This is just the easiest way to show you guys. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just get rid of that overlay. And under mask, I'm now going to import my mask 2. That now has the sun. And you'll see. They now have a cool recolorable sun. And if I recolor the third channel, which is the purple channel, it'll recolor the sun along with the other parts that are recolorable. So sometimes you might want to make a fourth channel or make other parts. So I could say that I want these, gotta go to the right layer, these parts to be one channel, I want the whole body to be another channel, so select the red and colour, these are the sleeves, red, so I could do that, and then I could say save as mask2, two. two's got to pick and choose which channels you want, and now if I import it, then the sleeves will have the same colour as the body, and the sun will have its own colour. There you go, see sleeves, same colour, and the sun has its own colour, so now I can have a bright yellow sun if I want. Not really yellow, but yeah, on the middle of my t-shirt. So that is literally the only way you add t-shirts. If I want to retexture the object, then all I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to this layer and I'm going to open a texture that I like. Oh no, let's pick something completely and utterly random. No, that's cardboard. That might not be that good. Okay, upward arrows. Copy the image over. Usually it's good if they're seamless. This one obviously isn't, but for the sake of it. Um, I'm going to scale it so it just about fits over. And then I'm going to copy that layer and paste it again and move it so that it covers all parts that I want covered. So it needs to cover that. Oop, that wasn't a good idea. I'm just going to move this layer over the top so I can see what I've covered. It needs to cover the sleeves. I don't want it covering the pockets. Right, and then I'm going to merge all the layers that I just put the texture on. So this layer is the textures, and then I'm going to go to my Multiplier layer, I'm going to use magic one and I'm going to click the random space and you'll see it outlines the parts. So I go back to my texture layer and I just press delete and you'll see now I only have the texture on this. Now you can either save this as an overlay, so if you want to save it as an overlay, probably the best idea, uh, make the multiplier layer invisible and say save as DDS and I'll just save it as overlay. Till it finishes it. And now if I import the overlay, you'll see. Now it has a top with a cool picture on it. Or if you don't want to save it as an overlay, even though I would recommend that, you can make the multiplier layer visible, pick overlay on here, and then save this image. So I could save this as let's save it in the mask two for a minute. Mask 2 and make that empty again. And I could import it as a multiplier, but then the recolorable parts will still be recolorable, so it kind of ends up looking pretty stupid. AKA. Okay, you can recolor it, which is cool, but I would have to get rid of the sun on my mask for this to work. So they're the two ways that you can add textures. Now, going to objects, I've got one open. 
sometimes like if you convert sims for objects or if someone made some clothes or something then you'll see that the multiplier has a wood texture so if I want this to just be white instead of having a wood texture it's kind of hard to make it recolorable because I can't really do much with the wood I would need this in black and grey without the wood texture so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to mesh high level of detail export uh, name it test and export it as dot object and then I'm going to go to blender and I go to file import my dot object find it first right here you go I've got my bed now there's two groups this group at the bottom is the shadow group and object so I'm just going to delete that and all I'm going to do is drag out a window go to UV image editor in this window click on edit mode and you'll see it pops up here so I'm just going to go to image new image go to the little world and put on ambient occlusion environmental lighting indirect lighting and put the samples up to 20 then on the picture go to bake ambient occlusion and two is usually good and bake so sometimes this doesn't work with clothes because if clothes have two layers like a front and a back layer then it will probably just come up as black then you need to do some fiddling but usually clothes don't have wood textures on them this is usually what happens if you convert objects from TSW. Now, if I go back to object mode, you'll see I've got my black and gray image. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go to save as image and I'm going to save it here under test. And I'm going to go to Photoshop and I'm going to open that. So, test. Now, what you need to do is uh, you need to make the gray part a specific shade of grey. So if I select the grey at the moment you'll see it's got 163. It needs to be around 138. So I'm just going to go to image adjustments, hue saturation and make it a good bit darker. Um, test it again. Where are we now? 145, still too light. If you don't make it the shade of grey then your black's not going to be black and your white's not going to be white when you colour it. 134, that was too far. Seven, that's good. 136 to 138. And then I'm going to save it as DDS test. Now, theoretically, you could also put a wood texture over it if you want to do. Oh, what I would do before I do that is go to 2048 in image size. File, save as DDS just to make the textures a bit more high resolution. I wouldn't go any higher than that because you might just break the game. Right, and when it's done, what I can do is I can now go to textures again and import my gray map. Done. And you'll see it's gray. So if I change the color, I can now have a blue bed without wood textures. And that is how I usually retexture some of the objects that come from TSI uh, Sims 4 that have wood textures and no other textures. Right, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Obviously, you can do the same thing here. You can add overlays, stencils, whatever you want. It works exactly the same way as clothes. So yeah, I hope this short tutorial helped the people who asked.